Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Ricky and I make videos about my life after a spinal cord injury. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I use my Tina Desis to grab things and how to use my hands. A lot of people say that I, I know how to use my hands, but it's actually the Tina Desis helping me use my hands being a quadriplegic. So yeah, today's going to be a little vlog type video. We're going to be carving pumpkins and making some Halloween t-shirts. But other than that, let's get right into the video. So before we get started with making these shirts. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm able to pick up the spray bottle just using my Tina Desis, just moving my wrist up and down, able to grab things. Just like I'm able to grab this bottle. Approximately 10 hours later. Just picking it up with my wrist, you know? But yeah, hopefully this is a little fun video just to show you guys how I'm able to use my hands using my Tina Desis or Tino Desis, I don't know. I'll put a description up here in the video. Ow. <laughs> but yeah let's get right into making these t-shirts and i'm also gonna be making them with my brother today so today we have stencils and we have two spray bottles and we're filling them halfway up with water and clorox and we're just gonna be spraying those two black shirts over there and letting them dry and see how they come out check it out there's my brother he's spraying his already i'm still laying mine down but look at that it shows right away so let me show you how i use my tina desis look I'm just going to push my wrist back and it sprays. You see that? And it helps a lot. These are going to come out so dope. My brother already took one of his off and his aren't coming out, but hopefully mine comes out better. Let me know down in the comments whose shirt came out better. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video. After this, we're going to be carving pumpkins, so stay tuned. All right, guys, it's time for the reveal. My brother's didn't come out too great. I don't know if he took his off too soon or not. But I left mine on a little longer, so let's see how it came out. Start off with the pumpkin. Oh man, I think we gotta let it dry more. It's been like 30 more minutes. I had it underneath the sun, but I don't think these came out that well. This, I think, was a fail, but let's see how it came out. If it came out. Oh, damn. I think they're still a little bit way too wet. We didn't let them dry enough. None of them came out. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that was a total fail. I hope the pumpkins go way better than this, but yeah, let's get right into carving those pumpkins. So it's the next day. We didn't have enough time yesterday to carve pumpkins because the t-shirts took a little long, but I got all my stuff right here. I got my pumpkin and my electric carver. Let's hope that electric carver does the job. And I'm gonna be showing you guys today how I carve pumpkins using just my Tina Desis. If it wasn't for Tina Desis, I wouldn't be able to pick anything up or even use my hands at all. But yeah, let's get right into carving these pumpkins. So before I start, I'm gonna draw the face on the pumpkin and the little hole on top so I know where to carve. And here's another example how I'm holding the pen. I just put it in between my fingers and then I squeeze it by putting my wrist back and it helps me put the pressure on the pumpkin. Well, here's my little face. It looks kind of messed up, but let's just get the carving. We have to hold the button down on this thing, so I think it's going to be a little hard for me. I thought we just had to click it on, but that's not the point. You have to actually hold it down, and that's going to be pretty hard. So wish me luck. Here's the first cut. Oh, I'm going to need somebody to hold it. Look at that guys, we got the first cut. All right guys, it's so hard to press the button and try to cut the pumpkin at the same time. I should have just bought the knives that came like this because it's so much easier just to stab it and cut it around. 
So that's what I'm doing to cut it. Cause it's so hard to press the button at the same time and I don't want to cut myself. That's gonna take some time. So I'll get back to you once this is off. But see, all tenodesis. I'm holding it, just using my wrist. See if I were to, oh. <laughs> exactly my point. See what happens when I don't bend my wrist? Things just fall right out of my hands. So that was a good example right there, but we're making some great progress. Just cutting the pumpkin like this. Now it's just time to pull it off. And again, watch, I'm just gonna be using my Tina Desis to open my hand and close it. So now just keep pulling your wrist back and forth, back and forth. Oh, ah. We cut the top, I accomplished something. So now we just have to clean out the guts and start carving out the face. All right guys, we got the pumpkin all emptied out. Now I'm just gonna start carving the face. You guys, this is such a workout. I'm not even gonna lie. Whoa! All right, guys, we got the first eye. Now we just gotta push it out. Ta -da! We got the first eye. All right, guys, we're almost done with the mouth here. The mouth? Yeah. <laughs> the what, Ricky? The mouth. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? How am I saying it? <laughs> You're saying mouth with an mouth? F. I'm saying mouth. <laughs> oh, look, it just fell on my lap. It sounds like you're saying mouth. Bear, you want to eat this? Bear, bear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs away with it. Don't worry, guys. It's safe for dogs to eat raw pumpkin. But there's the mouth. Now I just need to get the nose and the eye. Hey, does it look funny? <laughs> <laughs> How does it look, though? It looks good. Now I'll come back to you once it's fully done. All right, guys, check out the finished results. We have a big old candle in there because we didn't have any small ones and you can't really see the light. But I better look better once it's dark. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right guys, so we just finished carving the pumpkins but I did want to show you guys one last thing and that was the decorations that my dad put up for Halloween. We got a pumpkin, a blow up pumpkin and then we also, what the heck? When did my dad put this statue up? That's pretty scary. But anyways, check this clown guy out. Click it, Gloria, so they can see what it does. That thing's so dope. What the hell? Gloria, that clown is gone, dude. Did you see it move? No. That's so weird. I wonder where the hell it went. That's still creeping me out, but... The house looks really amazing from the front. Look at my spasms, they're going crazy. <laughs> my spasms are going crazy. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite time of year, guys. Spooky season is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, we're going to the front of the house to see the rest of the lights. I can see something. What the hell? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the little skit that I did. Let me know if you guys want to see more skits, but I thought I'll just do that one for Halloween and be a little festive. I love this time of year, you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. But yeah, I really hope you guys liked that video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm on the road to 1K, so please help me reach that goal, guys, by the end of the year. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.